Okay, so on the webcam, you see an RF quark node connected to a Nordic and RF24 transceiver and my mouse, which is the target for this second demonstration. So it's quite common to find this Nordic transceiver or a compatible one in 2.4 appliances since it's a popular and really cheap wireless module. In fact, the USB receiver of my mouse is based on it. Okay, let's start configuring our RF quark uh, uh, node. So let's start typing q.radioa.setmodemconfig as we've done before to set the modem configuration. We will start with the bitrate, uh, which is a value we got from the FCC specification. It was two megabit, and then we'll use a macro uh, is promiscuous to set the modem in promiscuous mode. Then we will apply this uh, this configuration. So this will configure the radio to pick any packet on the synchronized frequency. Then we need to set the radio packet length to the maximum allowed value. So for this radio, for this transceiver, it's 32. So let's use Q.radioA, set packet land as we've done before. It's fixed packet land, that's true. And then we need to set the packet land itself to the value of 32. Okay. Now we'll write a small script in Python to loop through all the frequencies and take some samples. So let's start putting the radio in, in receive mode. Then we'll need a for loop to loop through all the frequencies allowed by, um, by the radio and by my mouse. So we'll loop through all the frequency in the range we got from the FCC specification. It was from 2405 to 2474. And for each frequency, we need to synchronize on it. So we need to synchronize the radio on that frequency, on that center frequency. And then we need to sleep for a while just to, to give the radio time to synchronize and capture some packets. After this for loop, we go back into idle mode. Okay, so if I start this, now I will start this pressing enter, and then I will keep moving my mouse in order to generate some samples for the, the, the node for a quack. Okay, so now we see that the quark is capturing packets while it's looping through all the frequencies in that range, and then all the packets are stored in the comma line interface. Okay, so now if we look at the q.data variable, we will see that there are packets stored there. Okay, so now I would like to strip the sync words out of all the captured packets. So the, the transceiver we are using allows up to five bytes of address. So let's create a new list from the one of the captured packets to hold to contain all the addresses. So let's create a new variable, which is a list of course, and by means of a map and a lambda, we will strip from the packets the address, the sync one part. And uh, we will strip the first five bytes, but since we are using packets encoded in, uh, in hexadecimal, we will just pick the first 10 uh, characters, so from zero to 10, from, of course, all the packets we have in the q.data variable. Okay, so in this way, we obtain the list in data containing all the sync words. Now, by means of a counter, we would like to know and search for the currency of all the addresses and find out the most common address, the most common uh, sync word. So let's use this counter. And it has a fancy built-in method we use to, to find out that the most occurring, the most common, uh, for example, five addresses. And as you may see, there are lots of common addresses here and this is maybe due to the fact that starting from my watch, there are lots of Bluetooth connected appliances near the node. So now we are able to exit the promiscuous mode and set the transceiver with the right address. So in this way, it will just listen for packets coming from my mouse and ignoring the rest. So I've already tried all these sync words and figured out which is the right one, the right one to use, which is the one of my mouse. It's this one starting from, starting with BD, BD46, and so on and so forth. So now we will synchronize our radio with, with it. Now that we know the right sync word of my mouse, 
Let's configure again the transceiver, but this time using the right address and not the promiscuous mode. So I've already prepared the command with the right sync word. I will just paste it here. So here you see that the command just contained the right sync word written as a byte string and the bit rate, the one we've already seen before. So the change has been applied, but there is still the problem that the radio is frequency hoping. So now I will empty the q.data variable and we'll use a small script to keep changing frequency until we find the one used by the mouse. So as you may see here, the script is no more than a while loop. We'll just keep looping through all the frequencies in the range we've already seen before until it finds the one, the right frequency which is used by the remote. So if I start this script and then keep moving my mouse, within the range of Earth Quark, we will see that it's looping through all the frequencies until it finds the one which is used in this moment from my mouse. Okay, so here let you see that this capturing packet from the mouse. Note that now I'm not moving the mouse since this will slow down in a while. Okay, and if I move the mouse again, it will start again transmitting at full rate since it's transmitting the position, of course, of the mouse. 